Hi, this is going to be a video on some different communication methods which are mostly text-based. We'll look at some audio and video ones in the next video. Now, in terms of what you've got to know, a lot of this topic is a little bit common sense. There are certain technical words and features which you must know about and you've got to learn. But also, exam questions are often focusing on advantages, disadvantages, why might a business use this particular tool. Okay, so really we're looking at just different types of messaging software, so programs which enable you to send and receive information. These are obviously quite varied. Um, in this video we'll focus on ones which are mostly text-based. So first of all, instant messaging is really, really popular nowadays. It's been around for a long time, but certainly when I was growing up it wasn't really nearly as big as it is now. So these are short messages sent over the internet. Something like WhatsApp is an example of instant messaging. You're not sending essays to people over WhatsApp, you're sending fairly quick um, conversation-based updates usually. A company might send updates to customers via WhatsApp. Um, that's probably a little bit less rare than, say, text messages, but they might do. Crucially, things like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger and what else have you got? iMessage, arguably features built into things like Microsoft Teams. These all go via the internet, okay? So they're not using traditional mobile networks. And Void Instant, means they're going straight away. You press end, it's gone straight away to your intended recipient. Sometimes, I find quite creepy, sometimes even when you're typing, you might type a message and they might see what you are typing as you are typing it. So it really is instant. Something like email can get delayed, instant messages are sent straight away. So in terms of what a company might use these for, quick updates for um, maybe letting your manager know about you being sick or asking for a favour really quickly. Things which are really quick and needs to be sent straight away. Now, I said these are relatively new or are much more popular recently. SMSs are, I guess, the old fashioned version of instant messaging software. So an SMS, a text message, in other words, are where you'll send also short messages, but through cellular or satellite networks. Now I've put cellular in bold because that's mostly what this will be. Cellular, also called a mobile network, is where you have those massive radio towers and it's not using the internet, it's a different system to the internet, but you're still communicating via, well, in this case, radio waves. Now, of course, most phones support both. Probably right now, you are connected to the internet, but also your mobile network's cellular network. If you send a text message, it goes through the cellular network. And basic SMS doesn't support multimedia. Now, multimedia is where you've got a mix of different things joined together so maybe you've got an image maybe you've got some audio maybe you've got some text joined in the same message basic sms doesn't support that i mean as you'll know you can send photos via text messages but they are using something called mms so multimedia message service so a different system sms is very basic on its own instant messaging usually allows you to send you know longer messages and voice notes and attachments so it's a little bit more developed than sms but SMS doesn't need the internet, it's on its own. A second example you'll be very familiar with are emails. So emails, as you know, are used a lot by companies to communicate. Very good at distributing information through the body of the email. So the main email itself is the body of the email. Um, but also you've got the subject, which summarizes it. Um, but you've also got, you know, ha have attachments and you can have links which take you to other websites or give you more information maybe in an attached file. These can be multimedia, you can have images and videos embedded to keep things more interesting. Now email is quite versatile, you can send emails to one person or only a few people, but equally if you are say Adidas in this example, this email sent to me was not sent just to me, it was sent to thousands if not millions of people in a very large email list. So as you'll know companies like to take your email and use it to send you information, adverts, things like this. So emails can be relatively private or they can be clearly very public. SMSs go to one person. Instant messages could go to a group chat, for example, but emails could be a much bigger distribution um, method. So in terms of more specific evaluation, well, because you are putting particular addresses in the email, you can target individual people or groups of people so you, are, you can be very specific in how you are sending emails. They're usually very cheap or free to send. Now for us, it's free, but for a big commercial company, it will cost some money 
but it won't be massively expensive. And in terms of like within a company, an advantage is it leaves a written record. You'll find when you start getting jobs working in offices, for example, people like to email each other a lot, partly to have a written record. So if you speak to a client on the phone or in a corridor, they might promise you stuff. But of course, if it's not been written down, it's very hard to prove somebody has said something. Whereas if you are emailing somebody, you've got a saved record of what has been said, which helps a lot if somebody changes their mind or doesn't follow through with something they've promised. A key downside is that people often ignore emails, especially if they're spam or seem like they're spam. It may get sent to the wrong person. Things like that can limit their effectiveness. A third and final, I guess fourth and final, I suppose, method to cover in this video is social media. So here are some examples, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm sure you can think of many more. It's effectively a website where you are able to join and share information with other people, people both you know and people you don't know. In terms of what a company could use social media for, well, of course, they can buy adverts to distribute their information. These companies are free, but make money by companies buying advertising space on them. But as you also know, really commonly now, companies will set up their own social media accounts in order to share information and also in many cases interact with customers. Now, in terms of evaluation, well, because social media is used by so many people, you've got a very large, large audience. If you're wanting to send an email, you might only have a certain number of customers on file but their audience is much, much bigger for social media because you could message anybody, you, anybody could see your tweet or your post. It's a much bigger audience. And that means also non-customers might see it. Whereas an email might be sent just your previous customers. Because it's much more public, social media could include many more people than you might have access to already. But social media is obviously not always massively pleasant. You could as a company get targeted by attackers or trolls, you can be quite a big target on social media, especially because people often have anonymous accounts. You, it's hard for you to track down who these people are who might be trying to cause issues. And also, if people are being very negative, either rightfully or wrongly, it can hide your message, right? If people are complaining all the time to you and they're leaving offensive comments, that might really affect your ability to give off a very positive message which might be your intention right i'm sure you've seen on social media companies trying to be really funny and go viral and be really nice or seem really nice but of course people like to complain and like to moan it can really drag down the company especially because one mistake can get shared by lots of people right as you'll know if somebody you know deletes a post because it says something stupid people take screenshots people have a record very easy for a company's reputation to get damaged through a mistake or bad interaction on social media. 